There are many reasons to consider the use of propane as an alternative fuel. One of the primary advantages for using propane as a fuel is that it produces fewer emissions than conventional gasoline. Also, 90% of propane is domestically produced. Propane is an odorless, colorless gas. When ignited, propane burns with a pale blue flame that is nearly invisible in daylight. It is a byproduct of natural gas production and crude oil refining. As long as oil and natural gas are refined, a supply of propane will also exist. Like petroleum, propane is a hydrocarbon consisting exclusively of atoms of hydrogen and carbon. It is naturally a gas, but is usually pressurized into a liquid for storage called liquefied petroleum gas, also known as LPG. Propane has also been used as a fuel for cooking and home heating for decades. Most people can relate to propane as a fuel when they think of their outdoor grill. Most of these grills are fueled with propane and can be recognized by their fuel tanks. Propane use as a home heating fuel is common in areas where natural gas lines are not present. In fact, the Propane Education and Research Council estimates that the U.S. consumes more than 15 billion gallons of propane annually for home, agricultural, industrial, and commercial uses. Propane as a fuel is stored in liquid form under moderate pressure of around 100 to 200 pounds per square inch. This is beneficial when compared to other fuels, such as natural gas, which requires pressures of over 3,000 pounds per square inch or liquefied natural gas that requires cryogenic storage. Propane has similar energy content by mass when compared to conventional gasoline. It is most commonly used as an alternative fuel in vehicles with gasoline engines. Vehicles that use propane as a fuel have evolved and offer similar or better performance based on the fuel properties. When used as a fuel, propane provides for lower emissions and longer engine oil life. Industrial vehicles, such as forklifts that run on propane, have been a niche market in the use of propane-fueled engines for years. However, there are now propane passenger vehicles on U.S. roads. It is estimated that there are more than 270,000 on-road propane vehicles in the U.S. as of 2012. There are two types of propane vehicles, either dedicated or by fuel. Dedicated vehicles operate only on propane. By fuel vehicles are designed with two separate fueling systems that allow them to operate on propane as well as conventional gasoline. Many conventional vehicles may be legally converted to operate on propane instead of gasoline. Conversion systems are available but must meet the government emissions regulations. There have been a limited number of original equipment manufacturer versions of dedicated propane vehicles. Dedicated propane vehicles have evolved just as conventional gasoline vehicles. New propane-fueled vehicles use liquid propane fuel injection systems for increased performance and decreased emissions. Propane vehicles currently available are typically modified gasoline vehicles that have been converted to propane by intermediate companies. Propane conversions are available for many light-duty vehicles as well as larger commercial vehicles such as school buses. These vehicles offer similar performance and range as conventional gasoline vehicles while using a domestically produced fuel. These vehicles are able to refuel at over 2,600 fueling stations across the U.S. There are also other benefits in expanding the use of propane to fuel vehicles. For the betterment of human health and the environment, the economy, national energy security, and to help reduce the dependence on foreign oil. Compared with vehicles fueled by conventional gasoline, propane vehicles can produce lower amounts of harmful emissions such as particulate matter and carbon monoxide. Particulate matter can irritate the lungs and has been found to be carcinogenic. Carbon monoxide is an odorless, poisonous gas 
that can displace oxygen in the brain and can lead to fainting, brain damage, or death. Not only does petroleum consumption negatively affect health, but it also impacts the environment. Burning fossil fuels has contributed to environmental issues such as global warming, smog, and acid rain. Propane vehicles can have lower carbon monoxide and particulate matter emissions which can help reduce these issues. Propane is not considered a greenhouse gas and will readily biodegrade if spilled. Ninety percent of U.S. consumed propane is produced domestically. In most places, the price of propane is comparable to conventional fuels based on energy content. It is currently the most accessible alternative fuel to the public. Studies have found that propane is the most economic alternative fuel for fleets on a per mile basis when operating, ownership, and infrastructure costs are considered. Due to the number of propane fueling stations, there are minimal additional costs to expand the use of propane in transportation. About 90% of the propane consumed in the U.S. is produced in North America. Additionally, propane may be used along with conventional fuels to help reduce overall gasoline consumption. The U.S. imports roughly half of its petroleum, two-thirds of which is used to fuel vehicles in the form of gasoline and diesel. With much of the worldwide petroleum reserves located in politically volatile countries, the U.S. is vulnerable to supply disruptions. The increased use of alternative fuels, such as propane, can reduce national fuel consumption, which in turn decreases U.S. dependence on imported petroleum and increases energy security. We encourage you to learn more about alternative fuels and petroleum reduction technologies by visiting www.naftc.wvu.edu slash Clean Cities Learning Program.